Hello everyone, and welcome back to some more Final Fantasy 16 and what I'm hoping will be my final session of this video game. I know I got a bunch of side quests, I know I got hunts, but we're going to get those done right here, right now. Let's get it cracking, let's pick up right where we left off in the last one, where we were doing side quests here. Um, a couple new ones popped up here in the base. Uh, there's one where we got to go over here and talk to Gav, and then there's another one that popped up in my letters... That said something about Jill, so... Assuming we're gonna have a final quest with both of them as well. We should talk to them, see what they're about, see if we need to go anywhere else, and then we'll, uh, get going with the other quests that I already have going, which are mostly all in Ash. Otherwise, we have a bunch of hunts to do. Some are in Sandbrick. There's at least the one still in the desert I need to go do. And let's see if any other hunts pop up as we get things done. But right now, Gav, let's go. Ugh, you alright? Yeah, what's up, dude? Something troubling you. No more than usual. It's just... Yeah, this baby will be coming soon, and I wanted to make something for oh, it. Oh, he falling for the prego sure lady? Like Ooh. That. Back in the north, families would always make gifts when a Ben was on the way. Yeah, I let the little tykes know they were welcome in their new homes, like. So, what's the problem? Well, the problem is that Ed is due any day now. And I don't know if I'll be ready in time. Well, okay then. Let's help him make this gift for the baby. For the Is there baby. Anything I can do to help? Hmm. You know, there just might be. All right then. What exactly are we making? A good luck charm, but not just any good luck charm. Not just any. A lucky charm. Good luck charm. Also. Oh snap, DJ. Maybe could have waited until these guys were done talking, but that's cool. A gallon of water or a gallon of butane. Water, of course. Butane is a lighter fluid. Also, two red blood cells met and fell in love. Alas, it was in vain. whose horse it's attached to, I. I was going to start by asking around with traveling traders. If you could see my face, I'm just shaking my head. There's no shortage of those passing through Martha's. I think I might make that my first port of call. I'll let you know if I find anything. You're a good friend, Clive. <laughs> I won't forget this. I mean, they were talking about <clears throat> making a gift for the baby, okay? It was very important, DJ. But thank you for the 51-month resub with your Prime Gaming. And, um, uh, yeah. <laughs> Appreciate it, good sir. Appreciate it as always. And, uh, you know, appreciate your hilarious jokes as well. The butane one I like. The red blood cell one's I. Right. Alright, let's, uh, let's read this last letter we have here that pertains to Jill. Wait, did I not... Did I not read these other two that I have? Wait, you didn't think so about how big the injury, did you? Wouldn't you know, I've already had to pick out a spot and everything. But if you go on a grand adventure, you'll need to be quick about your business with that ruddy god of yours. Take too long and somebody more my clever might beat you to the prize. I suppose in that case, I could bury you on one of my lesser adventures. Goddess knows I've countless. Okay. I guess I didn't read that one or this one. But yeah. Hey, what's up, Sparty? Welcome in. The Triunity. Bringing together three men from differing backgrounds was not to be without some difficulty. However, come together we did for a better Valisthea. The Triunity was a big, f was but a first step. A longer, more bitter journey awaits us all, one that will almost certainly end in hardship. Yet what matters most is not the destination, but what we can learn from one another while the ro on the road there. You have paved that road for us with your courage, Clive, and now we must have the courage to walk it. Your loving Uncle Byron. Okay. Didn't realize a couple more letters had popped up, but there you go. I read those as well. Let's read about the concern for Jill. It's coming from Joshua. Though her icon brought her much suffering, the loss of Shiva weighs heavy on her heart, and we would be poor friends indeed if we if we not seek to lighten that burden, even but only a fraction, before we depart for the skies. I would speak on this more in private. Sure. If Shiva's Joshua's not all I took from her, if you know what I'm saying. I should go and speak with him. All right. I think Joshua's here, right? So, yeah, let's go talk to him first before we get out of here and head to Martha's Rest and do stuff over there. Because I think I'm going to go do that before I go head off into Ash. Again, I plan to go to Ash and do everything, so I might as well do everything outside of Ash first. Well, 
not necessarily everything, but you'll know what I mean in a minute. Let's talk to Joshua. What's up, dude? What are we doing Joshua, for Joe? I read your message. You're right. Jill is different. I don't think I'd realized how different, but since we've returned from Drake's spine, I felt it more and more. I suppose it's not hard to imagine why. She doesn't think she belongs anymore. And that's why we need to remind her she is still one of us. To let her know that we still need her. Now more than ever. That you still need her. But how to do that? When last we were truly close, we were but children. Of course. Do you remember the time we accompanied Father on his annual tour of the Duchy? And Jill and I broke from the procession to ride up Man's Hill. To see the snow daisies, I remember. It was the first time Father had allowed us to join him. And when he realized you were missing, he had the entire retinue down to the pot boys combing the countryside. In the rain. A thunderstorm forced us to take refuge in a grove of oaks before we'd even made it halfway there. It was the Lord Commander so who finally found us, and needless to say... He was none too pleased. Then it seems you and Jill have unfinished business. What do you say? Man's Hill. It's not that far. Oh, true. Though I suspect it is also much changed. Little in southern Rosaria remains as it was when we were children. You're saying I should go and scout the area for bandits? <laughs> I'm saying we should first go and see if there are actually still any snow daisies left. <laughs> what would you do without me, Clive? Uh, take my girl to see some dead snow daisies. Hilarious. Alright, anyway, this quest is dumb, Sparty. I mean, it's a quest for Jill, okay? Nothing's dumb to impress my love or whatever. <laughs> anyway, it sounds like we're going to Rosaria for a couple of things now, so kind of want to start with Martha's Rest because I feel like we're going to talk to a bunch of merchants and have, still have to do something else. So let's go do that first. Look for whatever the heck I was supposed to be looking for for Gav. I just know let's I have to talk to some merchants. merchants has what Gav needs. Hey, you, you got what I need? Excuse me. I'm looking for something. Oh, well, then I'm your man. <laughs> I, I have things. Oh, or maybe not. Uh oh, no, oh no, or not. You're not the first to mention the bird around here. There was a man stopped by the rest not long ago, claiming he was attacked by a silver chocobo. Near some guide hovel, not far from Eastpool. Most took him for a braggart and a liar, but who knows? Perhaps there was some truth to his tale. We'll see. So we're going to have to go kill a silver Thank chocobo. You. Got it. We're going to beat a silver chocobo into oblivion. Got it. All right. Sounds like what we need to do in my life. Um... I'm assuming we still got to talk to the merchants. Why didn't I make this my one of my quests that I'm looking for? I don't know. Anyway, more merchants to speak with, please. They're around here somewhere. More merchants to speak to, please. They're around here somewhere. There's one. What's up? Can I help you with summer? You wouldn't happen to sell silver chocobo feathers, would you? I deal in fruit, not fancies. But no fancies if it's here. Fancies you're after. I suggest you try Rhiannon's ride. Was a silver chocobo seen there? Oh yes. If you believe the ravens of a madman. It wouldn't be the first time. That is true. We've believed many crazy people before. Not that they were right either, but we believed them. And here we are, still alive. So, you know, believing crazy people it, isn't all bad. Right, anyway, where the heck is this last guy at? Or the last person at? I don't even know if it's a dude. Maybe inside of Martha's Rest? Let's take a look. Take a look. Take a look around. Tell me what you see. Looking for a dude with a green marker. Up there, maybe? No. New. No. Where for art thou, motherfucker? Maybe over here it's somewhere, and I didn't check far enough. 
I've got greens oh, there we go. It is a lady. See, he called it. How do, traveler? You've the look of a man who could do with a new whetstone. Or perhaps a bawdy etching of the Vicerine. Perhaps. Maybe another time. I'm looking for a silver chocobo feather. If that's the case, rumors are all you're likely to find. No one has seen a silver chocobo for years. Word is they were all hunted for their feathers. Some northern nonsense about bringing good luck. <laughs> Didn't bring them much, nor their bows. If any are still out there, I reckon they'll be doing their damnedest not to be discovered. You're probably right. Thank you anyway. All right, so we have a general location sighted in the hills near Rhiannon's ride. It sounds almost too good to be true, but since I'm already here, since I'm here, you know what to do. To Rhiannon's ride. This is Rhiannon's ride right here, right? Yeah. I think the closest thing is to just leave from the north side and head straight for it. So well, let's just keep going with this quest till we have all the things. <laughs> Got a love side quest. So They're the best. Yeah, I kind of figured I, I I knocked out a pretty good chunk of the side quest last time. Then I'm like, I'm a hundred percent sure. As long as I get about, you know, a four four to four ish four plus hour stream to end tonight, I'm a hundred percent sure I can finish this game. It's all just about getting through the rest of these side quests, really, because I have already. Like, I don't know how long the ending will really take me once I go to the flying crystal place, that, I, that origin, once I go to origin. But what I do know about it is that when Morrow went to do the finale, I'm pretty sure that's where she started her stream from, was going there. And she was done streaming within, like, I don't know, an hour and a half. So I'm like, okay, as long as I give myself that much time, we're good. I kind of wanted to mark this real quick because I, this is one of those spots I've walked by before, but I never... Hold on. Let me kill some. Let me kill some shitty enemies real quick. Hold up. Sorry, I got to get into the swing of things. By the way, I was playing some Sekiro today on my PS5, which kind of getting warmed up for your redemption stream, uh, Sparty. I'll probably be doing your stream next week, just FYI. So, uh, yeah. Also, whoa! I did not realize I was doing that. I was way overkill. My bad. Um, yeah, need to remember how my combos are set up. But yeah, I might have been in a little bit of a Sekiro mood. Or not mood, but mode. Um, okay, so this is the Phoenix challenge. These challenges, by the way, if I do them, I'll just do them on my own time. I'm, I have no desire to necessarily platinum this game on stream. Because I feel on. like there's a lot of little achievements that I'm never going to do on stream. Lots of little combat achievements. I actually did take a look at the, the trophy list, by the way. Lots of combat achievements for different like abilities, using them in different situations, and using them certain ways. I definitely have not done all the things. And on top of that, there's a bunch of hidden achievements where I'm like, I don't even know what those ones require, so... It's whatever. If I platinum this game, I'll just do it on my own time. And I haven't even discovered if, whether or not hard mode is required for any of the achievements either, which might also be the case. More tracks. And these look fresh. Fresh tracks. My Chocobo favorite. was here. And recently. Perhaps it still is. But is it silver? Maybe it's Fat Chocobo. Wouldn't that be dope? I feel like an asshole saying Chocobo. Fat Chocobo. God damn it. How dare you call it Chocobos, dude? I don't hear Seriously. anything. Seriously. Well, even if there isn't one, here's a fucking feather. Well, I'll be damned. You pretty much already decided you're not going for the plat in this game, Sparty. Well, we could talk about it at the end. We can chat about like what that entails. But let's wait till I get there, and then we'll talk about it. There's two silver chocobos. It's all right. I'm not going to I already got the feather, so y'all can dip out. Just a feather for my friend. To like, you better be, bitch. Thank you. 
Let's get this back to Gerd before they change their minds. All right. Well, I didn't have to beat down any chocobos after all. Here, I thought I was going to have to beat up some chocobos and feel really good about it. All right. Well, before we go back to Blah, blah, blah. Before we go back to Gab, Gab, Gav, let's go to Man's Hill. Check out this whole flower situation. It's really not that far away from right here, so let's go see what's up. Those do not look alive. This is the place, but. I'm sorry, Clive. Looking very not alive. There's no weapons, Bird. What do we do now? We keep looking. Man's Hill cannot be the only place where snow daisies grow. Perhaps, but it's the only place I know of. You of. Then why not ask someone who might know of another? Someone at the backyard? To the hideaway, then. Okay, I guess we're going right back to the hideaway. Which, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. We can go finish Gav's quest, and then we'll proceed with this one. Let's hope one of the gardeners knows where Gav, to find where snow you daisies. At? Gav, where are you at? Where is Gav? Oh, he's still here. He's still here. Not having it on my marker thing it has just been no weird. But anyway. Hey, yo. Got your feather, bro. Step. Clive, you're back. How'd you get on? Any luck? Any luck, you say? Booyah! Luckiest boy in the world. Crystals crack. Is this what I think it is? Where in the hell did you find it? It's a long story. Had to slaughter an entire family of chocobos for one feather, but here it is. Right there on the road to Eastpool. <laughs> Who'd have thought it? Everything up there has been abandoned for years. The empty cabin made for the perfect shelter. Though I... Fear my presence may have forced the poor creatures to look elsewhere. Don't blame yourself, Clive. The blight's right on East Pole's doorstep. They'd have had to move on before long, even if you hadn't have turned up. They'll find a new home. Trust me. After all, that's what us endangered animals do. Anyway, what matters is, you managed to nick us one of their quills before they could run off. And now all that's left is to fix it to the carving. I didn't know you could carve. Mm, reckon there's a lot you don't know about me. Like the fact I'm as good with a whittling knife as I am with a sword. And that bone ember gave me's a dream to work with. What did you say it was from again? An Avis? But it weren't your Avis, Sid. I slew one of my own at last. So all those long nights in the pit finally bore fruit. I'm proud of you, Ember. <laughs> Don't speak too soon. I ain't done my trial yet. There we go. What do you think? I think if you ever hang up your scouting cap, you'll be able to make an honest living. Now will I. <laughs> I should go and see if Edda's awake. Give him my best. Huh. You can give it to yourself. Come on. Come on. Good, let's get this all done and over with. We'll meet up with her one last time and get it over with. You know what I'm saying? Alright, wait, where did he go? Oh, he went to the infirmary. Of course he did. Well, let's go to the infirmary. Fine, fine, fine. Let's go talk to Gavin Etta. Check on the baby. While we're going crazy. Checking on the baby. Yo, Gav, what up? We've come to check on the baby. Hello, hello. Ah, me lords. How are you feeling? Well, thank you. Is something wrong? Wrong? No, nothing like that. Uh, 
what it is is uh go on please go on it's beautiful did you it's make it it's beautiful we did i uh, it's from all of us here at the hideaway your new family like it's a good luck charm we may come up north when a band's on the way. I, I, I mean, a, a baby, to let them know that they're part of the family too. Oh, I, I, ho I hope you like it. I, I don't know what to say. I thank you, my lords, for everything. If there's anything you need, just let us know. I will. Ah. <sighs> Clive, fancy a swift off. I'm thirsty. I could be convinced. All right, let's go get drunk real quick and wrap this quest line up, shall we? Don't you think you've had enough? No, we're celebrating. I'm gonna be a father. <laughs> I think Edda might have something to say about that. Ah, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Like in these dark times. Hey, what's up, Toast? You just watched That's Princess Bride? Tenth name, dear. DJ, what a charming movie. It's pretty Charlie good, again. damn good movie. It's been a while since I've seen it. Moon. But very good movie. I was looking forward to having a little one to lord it over. What with me being the runt of the litter. Thought I'd finally have a chance to prove to the world that I could be a big brother. Imperials came the day she went into labor. Had myself a baby sister, and then I didn't. My whole family gone in a blink, while I hid in the cellar like the spineless little arsehole I was. Great brother I turned out to be. I'll never be a leader, and I'll never be a hero I'm just a daft little dog who comes running when his master calls I'll never be like you or Sid or Jill or even Toggle <laughs> have you finished maybe maybe Do you know why you're our best scout? Because you don't need anyone to hold your hand. Without your resourcefulness, your courage, your determination, I don't know where we'd be. Maybe hanging off a cliff like... Uh... That was only the once. Exactly. <laughs> you learned from it. And here you are after founder knows how many missions stronger for everyone. <laughs> and let's not forget Rosalith. Who was it who freed me from the dungeon? Who was it who ran to Jill's rescue? That would be me. Yeah, that was you, dumbass. Because you're our brother, Gav. My brother. <sighs> Your brother. Brother man. Dude man, bro. Which means... Bro man, dude. That when the time comes... I get your room and your sword. 
<laughs> sure, sure. Hilarious. All right. Just like a couple of bros. Oh, we're not done yet? Good lord. How long is this conversation going to be? Jesus. I may have had one too many. You may have had ten too many. I said I was thirsty. Gotta get back to work anyway. After I walk this off. Uh, Clive? What is it? Thanks for, you know. Being a dude man, bro? Uh, dude man bros forever. Alright, questo completo. There you go. Alright. Good shit. Good shit. We got that winter mead. It's gonna go in my chambers, yo. Anyway, you know what's a fun movie? The Story of Ricky. You just rewatched it last week, huh, Toast? I have not heard of that movie. What is that one about? Is it, is it any good? I don't even know what it's about. You do feel like the cutscenes drag on for a bit after the point where they could have ended them. Yeah, it, feel, it does feel like a few of the scenes kind of just keep lingering. You're like, dude, just wrap the conversation up already, bro. We got the point. But sometimes you kind of linger on a shot, give it a little more dra drama, a little more feel to the character's development or whatever, you know, because they actually have expressions on their faces and shit. So it's like, you know, they're trying to make it a little more cinematic. That's why. For better or worse, sun. I understand it, even if it does make more scenes drag on. But anyway, hey, do you know about, like, um, where I can find some of those flowers? Oh. What brings you down from the heavens, Sid? I need your advice. Joshua and I are looking for a place where snow daisies grow. Preferably in abundance. Snow daisies. Then you'll want somewhere not too hot and not too cold. And where the winds are strong enough to carry the seeds. Uh, I reckon Man's Hill would be a good place to start. There in the Royal Meadows, perhaps? Both have similar climbs and the right elevation. If the Blight hasn't claimed them yet. Right. Well, Thank you. We know Man's Hill's fucked, but we can check the Royal Meadow, I guess. Did you learn where we might find our flowers? The gardener here mentioned the Royal Meadows in Sambrek. Ah, the fields beyond Northreach. Well, if that's the case, then Yote was right. I recall that she kept the record of our travels, you see. So I asked her if she'd perhaps noted anywhere that snow daisies grew, and she mentioned Oilerfeist Bay. Whose shores border the meadows. Off we go, then. Well, okay, then. To Sandbreak we go, which actually works out, because I have a couple of hunts there that we need to do, not including the level 50 dragon that's also there, but we might save him for last. But anyway, that uh, Ricky story of Ricky movie is a completely insane movie, a live action adaptation of a manga from the 1980s. Huh. Never even heard of it at all, but I'll just have to take your word for it. You say it's a live action adaptation of a manga from the 80s. When did the movie come out? Because again, I've never even I never even heard of it. Like it doesn't even come. Like the name doesn't even ring a bell. It's from 1991. Damn. Okay. Well, old ass manga, old ass movie. All right. So, I'm hoping I can remember the names of the places where there are hunts here. Looks like our quest is gonna take us over here. I want to say Cape Orsier or whatever this place is. There's a there's a hunt over here, and then there's another hunt at the penitence penitence gate so we're gonna try and knock those out while we're over here as well i'm kind of tempted to go do the penitence gate one for gate be one careful. first because it's out of my way in fact let's let's do that let's not let's not waste time because what what's probably going to happen what i'm assuming is going to happen anyway let's go. is we're going to go over there and find the snow daisies maybe have to kill Why some enemies that are in the way and then and then jill you know, we'll get brought into the fold, and we'll see some cutscenes, and blah, blah, blah. But I don't want to trigger all that if it's going to make me go back and forth and go somewhere else. You know, because maybe after we talk to you, we go back to the base and or somewhere else, and blah, blah, blah. I don't want to do that 
and then have to come back over here again. Just go to this home. Not that this is the longest walk ever. In fact, yeah, there's no other teleport over here. Never mind. I'll say, I wonder if I could teleport over here, but no, nah, not an option. And honestly, I forgot what kind of enemy is over here for this quest or for this hunt, but it doesn't matter. When we see it, we'll see it. All I know is it's at Penitence Gate, which is over this way. Do, 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 do. Is that my bitch right there? Is that my boy? Is that who we're looking for? I'm gonna go with Yup. You deserve a rest. It's a dragoon. This should be fun. The Knight of the Splendent Heart. Bring it on, Beezy. Let's go. Get into it, y'all. The one who drove his highness to madness Big on your oof. knees. <laughs> Big <laughs> oofy doofy. <coughs> yes, Sorry, let's cough real quick in your earballs. I'm sorry. willing to listen. God, it feels so weird. I'm, I'm gonna be so happy to be done with this today, so I can stop confusing controls around with this in Sekiro. <laughs> See now, oh, man. Okay, what are my buttons? Oh, Damn it! Get fucking front punch, boy. Get back here. Owie! I didn't say get back here and hit me. I said get back. Get bag. Ooh, get parried on, son. Build up that Zantan so you can Oh, yeah. Ah, ah. Eat it. All right. And just like that. Limit break. Giga flare. Laser. Yeah, boy. Now I'm gonna Zantetsuken the fuck out of here in a second. Zantetsuken. Speaking of Zantetsuken, I still haven't upgraded Zantetsuken. It's only go. It only goes up to level three. And I was talking with Chet and Morrow, and they were talking about how to level five, and I'm like, oh shit, I haven't even leveled mine up yet. At all. So I need to do that. Owie. Have another demon dust, boy. Already got him down that halfway point, man. Diamond dust is so fucking broken when it comes to just chonking down that stagger bar, man. It's too good. That's better. Stop making it rain on my ass, bro. Ooh, the follow-up that I wasn't ready for. Ooh. Dude, stay locked onto him. What the hell? Oh, boy. He's doing more things that I don't care for. Damn it! Oh my lord. You're a real butthead, you know that? Uh, well, whatever. Hit him with that Giga Flare. Got him. I find that Zen Tetsuken works well for me. I do, actually. So, here's how I do it, right? I put Odin on. Right? So, I have Odin to build up the Zen Tetsuken. And then I just put whatever other moves I feel like doing. And I just build up the Zen Tetsuken kind of naturally by switching to it and doing some attacks here and there. And then you just leave it charged up to utilize it when you actually get your stagger. And apparently it goes with level 5. Which, a Zantetsuken at level 5, I can only imagine how much that's going to do damage-wise. Like, limit break with that on? Like, holy crap. Also, holy crap, what the hell? There's a teleport here that I didn't have. What? How did that even happen? I'm a little disappointed, but alright. But anyway, let me, let me check. How much ability points do I have right now? 
I don't know if I have a whole... Oh, I got a pretty good chunk to spend. What does Antetsuken cost? 5,000! Holy shit. Okay. Costs a little bit to level it up. Might not be worth it, to be honest. But, uh... You know. We'll see. I'll think about it. Did I sell all my other shit? I think I did. I think I sold everything else that I'm not using right now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. Any move that I'm not using, I sold it, so. Which is fine. Pretty, I'm just making sure that that's 100% true. But I'm pretty sure that's the case. So, okay, I'm going to have more ability points when I'm done with these quests and hunts and stuff right now. So, we'll see where I'm at. If I have enough to upgrade it, that'd be great. But that's 5,000, man. That's a lot. That's a lot to work with. It's a lot to hope for. It's a lot to save up. So... I may not be getting the full awesomeness of Zantetsuken that I would like. But I kind of like the combo of moves I have set up at the moment. I'm enjoying it. It's just like, when it comes to my circle move, right? I don't really like any of the other ones. Like, I don't really like building up the Mega Flare that much for Bahamut. Um... You know, the yoinking with Garuda is nice, but not useful in boss fights. The block with the shield for Titan could be useful if I ever blocked, I guess. Um, the dodging with the Shiva moves mad to me as well. And what, what are the ones? Oh, and the lightning, when you build up little lightning balls on an enemy. I, don't, I never use that either. So it's like, just a bunch of moves I never do. So, yeah. Might as well just build up Zantetsuken and unleash it. Well, there's no harm in having it, you know what I mean? But anywho, that's fire. just me. Where do we even start? Where do we coastline. even start? Start, there. start with the coastline? Fuck it, let's just go over here and see. I'll look for... Oh, okay, I see him already. I need to get to... You know what? Let's go find this rank, a rank hunt while I'm over here. But like I said, before cutscenes kick in and stuff. There should be another hunt over here at the end of the cape. Again, another enemy. I don't remember what they look like or what they're supposed to be. But they should be here somewhere. Oh, where, oh, where could my haunty cunt be? Oh, where, oh, where could it be? Is it this dragon thing? It's probably not. Oh, where, oh, where could it be? No mistakes. Is this one of those challenge things, too? Wow, there's one way over here. Interesting. I guess I don't have to get off to see the crumble, but... I swear it was supposed to be this cape. Oh, fuck. Of course he runs away as I go to attack. Lame-ass. Lame-ass. Anyway, there's our trial for Bahamut, if I ever want to do them. Where would this... Where would this one be if it was not right Come here? Come on. Fly, Ambrosia. Kind of figured it would be at the dead end over here, but maybe not. Pretty sure it was Cape Or Orsier. It didn't no, really say back. West Watch specifically, but it could be at West Watch, I guess. But, I mean, that would just mean it's by this lighthouse thing, right? Which doesn't seem to be. Is that it right there? Are you my bitch? No, you're not my bitch. Oh, you're Thanks, my bitch. Girl. I lied. Alright. The Prince of Death. Which looks like one of those liches, basically. Let's fuck him up. Also, sorry for bumping the mic. Here we go. Bring it on, bitch, bitch. Sorry. Forgetting what the buttons are is super right now. Dude, stop being dumb. Seriously, just fucking stop. Get him, Toro. Let him know. Get 
trying to let that Zantetsu can build up, y'all. Giving him the nice shake and bakes right now. This is good. Because I didn't shake and bake shit when I was fighting that last like, Dragoon guy. Also, I did not try to mean, I did not mean to try to do Giga Flare there. That was an accident. Break him. All right. Ready? Give him that Giga Flare. Give it to him. Let him know. Give him that. Good old. Shit. Press the wrong button. That's a token. Can we get a crunch punch into? Yeah. Oh, right at the right at the tail end. We still got a chunk of damage in there, but not the big old damage I was hoping for. Ooh, we got a parry. Good shit. Fuck you. For that, you get diamond dusted, ho. You want to get dusted with with dust and diamond? No, you don't. Did I not hit him with that? I think I missed. I think the motherfucker just, just got too far away from me and I didn't even hit him with that. That is the lamest shit ever. Damn it, quit running away when I do my moves. Quit running away when I do my moves. And I gotta parry what I was doing this. Which is good stuff. Ooh, and I got another parry, damn dude. You are in the candy parry tree right now. It's awesome. Ow, 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 ow. Ooh, got the stagger, nice. Alright, gonna break. Going Giga Flare again. Nice. Arm of Darkness. Give him that Dan Tetsuken. Got time to give him a pile drive. And the crossbar. For the win! For the victoriousness! Prince of Death. More like Prince of He Dead. Alright, so I think that. Dark Steel also needed to make that dope ass weapon. I know I needed Dark Steel, but I don't remember if I needed one or two of them. I already had one. Now I have two. Tired of these things. Um, but yeah. We're getting close to having what we need. I was thinking I think I'm still missing one more Ori Calcum, but I think if we keep doing all these quests, yeah. we will pick up that last Ori Calcum I need to make that Goddardamarung blung blung sword. <laughs> Whatever the hell it was called. We shall soon be having our dope sword. But first, Jill, we found some flowers for you, but they're overrun with enemies. Kill them all. Look, brother. Do you see them? Crunch punch them into oblivion. The flowers. Slam jam them into oblivion. Give them a delicious ignition. Yes. Maybe even a pile driver. Who's left? Damn boy. Damn boy. Got him. Too easy. Uh oh. Is there a big beastie? What do you see, boy? Torgo only does that when there's a big one. Ooh. It's a Minotaur. Let's hope this is the last one. Shook it. Only one way to find out. Little bit of that Tetsuki boy. Nice. Got that precision dodge and the flash of steel. Get that Tetsuki built. The fuck up right now, boy. Damn, did I just get a parry on his ass? I think I did. Well, fuck it. Let's get his Antetsuki on him right now and see if I just. Chomps him down. Nice. Ow. That's all ready. Might have been a little plate on that dodge. I was just having fun building my Zantetsuka before I dodge strike, you know? And we'll, I was gonna say we'll probably get the 
probably get the break on him at the same time. You want to taste the fine. Giggle Flare, bitch. I don't think you do. You especially don't want my crunchity punchity. Like, that was 80k damage I just did to that fool. And I didn't even do the most efficient combination of what I had. And I didn't even have Limit Break active. That was some good shit right there. Get him. Like, I didn't even do my Zantetsuken, huh? I don't even think I did. Anyway. Got him. F that Minotaur. But I'll take his main. That was harder than I expected. But found us. It was worth it. They're beautiful. Do you think Jill will like them? She'll love them. Come on. Let's go. Let's go get our girl Kajillionaire and bring her back here and watch her swoon. It appears my work is done. The rest, as they say, is up to you. Well, you and the skies. We wouldn't want another thunderstorm now, would we? Or would we? We wouldn't want our clothes to get wet, so we'd have to take them all off to let them dry again. No, no. <laughs> oh, no. That would be terrible. <laughs> anyway. I'll check out all my letters again once I'm done with all the quests I have. But anyway, Jill, hey, I know I know a place. Jill. There's something I'd like to show you. There is? And where might this something be? It's uh, not here. Now I know this is It's in my pants. Do you fancy a trip to the Oriflam. There are so many. This is what you wanted to show me. Hell yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. I, I don't know what to say. You don't need to say anything. The smile on your face is enough. We've been worried about you, Joshua and I. Do you remember when I took you to Man's Hill? Or <laughs> tried to? How could I forget? You saw me crying and thought a change of scenery might lift my spirits. In the end, it earned me a nasty cough and a stern scolding from your mother. But I felt wonderful nonetheless. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had no idea what I was getting us both into. But I couldn't bear to see you like that. Before we left, my chambermaid told me she'd overheard your mother talking about my marriage prospects with some of the noblewomen at court. They were debating whether it would be more profitable to marry me off to one of the high houses instead of saving me for the ducal line. No one thought to ask me what I wanted. I was nothing to them. A pawn at best. I felt so trapped. So lonely. I didn't know. But I wasn't alone. You were there. Your hand in mine as we ran for those oaks. And I knew then, no matter what happened, 
I would be all right. I'll never forget that feeling. I'll never forget that feeling. That wonderful feeling. Look at Torgo, good as boy. So adorable. Before we broke camp. Please put that on Clive's head. For the love of God, put that on his head. Do you know what I did? No. What? I slipped away from my governess to climb the tall. And from there I saw a sea of petals, all reaching for the sun. And I realized... that no matter how terrible the night, dawn would always come. That you, that you would always come for me. <laughs> I always do, baby. Wink, wink. And you have. Again and again. Okay, okay. No need to tell everyone about it. God. Where do you see us? When all this is over? Don't know. Not here, though. I think I've outgrown the twins. After everything we've been through, the realm just seems so small. So small. I'll need some space to spread my wings. So you can be the wind beneath them. Then. That's what you'll have. And I'll stop at nothing to see that you do. Oh, shit. All right. I never was much good at garlands. <laughs> but it'll have to do. Treasure it forever. <laughs> I'll treasure it forever. What, whatever it's Thank supposed you. to be. <laughs> Do I have to wear this? this mm. The flowers, the, everything. It's exactly what I needed. You are my treasure. Treasure. That is what. You are, you're my shining star. Let me treasure you. <laughs> All right, enough being annoying. Okay, okay, are we done here? We should probably be getting back. I expect the others are wondering where we are. You're right. There's still much to do. And we'll do it together. Together. Remember who you are. All right. Cool. Another questo completo. Fantastic. We got a snow daisy garland for the chambers and a Shiva's kiss. Oh, shit. That could be an awesome one to equip because I've been using diamond dust. See, that is the kind of accessory... That I've been waiting to see. I don't know if I already had a Diamond Dust one. But I have a better one now. I tell you what. I tell you what. If I'm going to stick to using Diamond Dust. Which I am. Uh, I'm going to put that on I think. I don't really have. I think I have like the attack power one still on. Oh, hold on. Joining hands with Jill. Jill has joined Clive's party. Remain with him for, uh, until departing for Origin. Got it. That's fine. Is, is Joshua still with us too? Or I don't know. We might be able to go get Joshua back if we want. I don't even know, even know. But what I do know is that I want to equip that accessory like right now. 
high potency of high potions. You know what? I don't even need this. Like, I don't need the extra potency of high potions. Like, seriously. You never got around to using Diamond Dust because I didn't end up getting enough up AP to master it. So, I don't know if you saw me do this the other day, uh, Sparty, but you can sell your, you know, like, you can reset your moves with this reset button square. I don't know if you ever did that at all, but it's very helpful if you need some AP for moves that you already don't use anymore. You know what I mean? So, recommend it if you didn't do it that way. But I will also say it's very, very expensive to master Diamond Dust, master Giga Flare, which I did both. And that's why I'm having issue having enough to uh, also level up Santetsuken, because that's expensive. So I may not have enough by the time that happens. Anyways, we're done here in this area, other than this one hunt where we gotta fight the big dragon that's level 50. We're getting pretty close. I'm gonna do that, but I think I'm gonna save him for last because it might end up being one of the hardest hunts just in general, and I might as well have everything else done by the time I smack my face against, you know, the relatively hardest hunt. Probably won't be as hard as it should be, but, you know, I do what I do.